everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make some of my stickers in Silhouette Studio. And I had a request for this video and I also had thought this would be an interesting video just to show people how I make them. There's probably quite a few different ways that people make stickers, but I'm just going to show you how I do things. So if you look up here, it does say the business edition of Silhouette Studio, but everything I'm going to be showing you today you can do in the free version. And you can download that even if you don't have uh, a Silhouette cutting machine or anything. You can go to silhouetteamerica.com slash software and download just the current version of Silhouette Studio. And that's the free version, but it'll have all the tools that you need um, to do what I'm going to show you today. So they have for, for Mac and Windows. So I'm just going to close this for now. And then we're going to... Go back to Silhouette Studio. All right, uh, today I decided I'm gonna show you, I'll do a text sticker, like how I make a text sticker, how I make just a sticker from a picture, like a JPEG file. And then I'm gonna show you how do I make my budget stickers, which are kind of like washi strips. So we're gonna be doing those three things today. Right now what you see on the screen right now is just, it's a, just a blank canvas basically, but I'll kind of show you what, what we have going on here. So, I, I'm over here in this, it's the top icon on this like menu bar right here. I have more icons than the free version, um, but if you just look up here to the page setup, and I click that right there, and you can see that I have it set up for a letter size paper, which is the normal 8.5 by 11, so you're probably going to have it that size. So I set it up for that, and I set it up for my Cameo. You can change the mat so it fits whatever machine you're cutting on, but I have a Cameo and it's a 12 by 12 inch mat. So this, it's showing in the background right here, um, just kind of simulating the mat that it's gonna be uh, cutting on. And then this part is showing the paper, the eight and a half by 11 paper. So that's kind of what you're seeing on the screen right now. You're also seeing the registration marks and these are just so that the, the cutting machine can read the paper and knows where the paper is. It, it scans these all these three black marks and then it cuts correctly. So you need to make sure to keep art away from these black marks. So anything where you see like the diagonal lines, um, you should keep art away from that area. And we'll keep the art inside this red line. That's the cut area. All right. So now that we have that part covered, I'm going to close that window right now. I'm just going to show you a really simple text sticker. And I have quite a few text stickers. Sometimes I'll put a little icon behind it. I usually just make the icon uh, like my payday stickers, I have a little cash icon behind it. But I also have like to-do stickers and it's just plain text. And those are just, these are very functional and it's just, they come in really handy, just text stickers. So I'm just going to show you how I make them. They're really easy. They're one of the most basic stickers um, that I make. So we'll start by, I came over here and I clicked this text, this big A. and It's the just the text icon over here. And then I just clicked on my paper. And it comes out, I, I don't really want it this font and size right now, but I'm just going to text or type, we'll just type payday for now. And then I'm going to highlight this, just drag my mouse over that, and now we'll change it. So we'll change the size, we'll probably make it like 14 or so. And then we're going to change this, I think I'll just find a cursive font. So, all right, we're just going to use this one right now. So, and I'm, I'm going to zoom you in up here. There's a little magnifying glass. I'm just going to press that a few times and bring this back. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to click off it. The arrow up here, this is a good thing to know. So this is the selection arrow. So this, if you ever want to click off anything or click or like highlight anything, whenever you want to select something, you just go up here to this arrow and then you can click off something or click it um, to select it. So we have this little payday sticker right here. As you can see, it's just got a red outline right now and it's there's no fill or anything. It's just a red outline. That red outline is actually gonna cut anything that's red, like any line. So this is gonna cut into a bunch of different letters, which we do not want. So I'm actually gonna take the outline off. Now it looks invisible, but it's just it doesn't have a stroke or a fill, so it's just invisible right now. And if you keep it selected and I'm just going to make this black right now, but now we have our black payday stick, not really a sticker, but text, and it doesn't have any cut lines anymore. The red outline is gone, so nothing's cutting right now, but we'll have black payday word 
print. So I'm going to select this now. Say I say I like this and then we're just doing a simple text sticker. The way I get this to cut how I want it is we need to keep a little white space around all the letters so that none of the letters get cut off. So I come over here to this little star icon. It's, um, it's called the offset panel. I'm going to click that. And that's how I get where I, um, I make the cut line that I want. So I'm clicking offset. And this is obviously not what I want. This is way too big. But I can come over here and adjust the size. I usually do between 0.3 is usually my minimum and 0.5 is usually uh, my next. This is or my highest that I usually use. But this is really, really small text. Um, I probably could actually make it a little bit bigger. But we're just going to come over here and I'll just do 0.3 for this one. And then... I'll hit apply and all the middle lines go away and then you just have the outline right here. Um, yeah, this sticker is really small. It's only like half an inch by a quarter of an inch. So I probably would make it bigger um, if I was actually cutting this. But this gives you the idea. I, in order to make it bigger, you could just come up here, change the text to like 18 or something, and then make a new um, outline stroke here. I can just show you right now. So I just selected the red line. I'm going to hit my delete key. Let's go up here. I'm going to type 18 in up here. It gets a little bigger. All right, I'm going to put my cut line around this. And we're going to have, let's do an offset of, let's just do 0 0.03 again. And see what it looks like. And this should be good. So we're going to apply that. So it's 0 0.03. This will be the sticker. So everything, the white or not white, the red line all around it, that's what's going to cut. So everything inside the red is what's going to be on the sticker, and that looks really good to me. So I like the offset that I did, and I like this um, text and everything. I'm going to go, I'm just going to drag my mouse and select both of them. I'll show you an easy way to duplicate this. Then you go to the replicate panel over here. And this is if you're trying to make a sticker sheet or anything. So I have all these options, and this literally just makes a copy. I can push the arrow key over so they're not touching. But this would be good if you want to make a, like, say you want a sheet of, like, 10 labels or something. So I just push this, and it automatically duplicates into, um, like, four payday stickers. Now I just, let's do one more so we have a set of 10. So we have this little set of 10 payday stickers. And then what I usually do, I just come over here. This is the shapes, like drawing tools, but it's like all the shapes that you can draw. I'm going to do this rounded rectangle. And we'll just put a round rectangle around it. And then if you make this, I always make it blue, and this will cut a different, uh, this will be a different setting. So the red is going to cut, I'm going to set it as kiss cut, which means it'll only cut through the top part, like the sticker part of the paper, and it'll leave the backing. And then this one we want to cut all the way through the sheet so that it's just like one sheet of 10 payday stickers. So hopefully that made sense. So we just, we're, this is, these are the little payday stickers. This is the cut line for kiss cut. And then this is the cut line to cut completely through the paper. All right, so that's like the basics on text stickers. Um, they're pretty simple. You can always, on your sheet, I usually put it up here and I put my logo up here. Um, but that's that's the basics on just text stickers. So next I'm just going to show you, it's going to be similar how I make the outline and everything for uh, like JPEG stickers or image stickers. All right, I pulled up this. This is a JPEG. So all you have to do, if you go to file and then click open, you can open any JPEGs um, images. So this I open from there or you can just drag the image from like Finder if you have a Mac or whatever the window is called on a on a PC. I'm not sure. Um, but just drag your like open up your file that you have in Silhouette that you want to make into a sticker. So I have this. It's like uh, a little under two inches by a little under one and a half inches. So I like the size this is right now. But this is what I want to show you what happens with JPEG. So say we want to do like a nice uh, cut line around all the this like the zebra like we don't want to make it a circle or a rectangle which we real we could make it like if I just want to make a rectangle sticker you literally just draw a box around the sticker and this will cut and this will make it a rectangle sticker um, you can make it an oval sticker anything like that 
But say I want to make this into and like kind of like the text up here that we did. Say I want to make it so that it follows like the out, outside of this zebra. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to highlight the zebra. Um, and then if you go to this, it's the trace panel. It's like a little butterfly or something. Uh, I'm not really sure. But say select trace area. And then you just draw a box over your JPEG like this. And then it'll highlight in yellow what it's going to be tracing. And you want it to trace this whole, like the whole zebra, because we want an outline around the whole zebra. So all I'm going to do is move this threshold button until the whole zebra gets to be yellow. All right. And then I'm going to say trace outer edge, because if I say trace, um, see all these parts that aren't yellow, those are going to um, have cut lines in them too. And I don't want the zebra. I don't want any of this cut. I just want the outside. So I'm going to say trace outer edge. And now it might be hard to see, but if you look closely, there's this little red line going all the way around the zebra. It's really close to the zebra right now. Here, I'll click on it. So I clicked on the zebra right now and I'm moving him right there. So you can kind of see it's very jagged looking right now, but that's, that's okay. That's not a big deal. Uh, because what we're going to do is offset it like we did before. I'm going to put this back and we're just going to click on this red line here. And we do want to keep it red. It's the cut line, so we're going to keep it how it is. But what we want to do, we want to offset that. And, oh, we have the, we actually have the JPEG selected. So now the red line is just selected. We're going to do an offset. And then we'll just kind of go in, let's say, to 0.5. I like how this looks. It has a nice little white border around it. It'll cut nicely. It won't cut any of the art off. And we're going to say apply. And then now we need to get rid of that original line we had, uh, which is right here. I just pushed it over to make sure. And I'm going to hit delete. So now we just have a nice outline of a zebra. So this will cut and it'll follow the cut line so it'll look nice um, for a sticker. So hopefully that made sense. Oh, sometimes... <laughs> This is, so sometimes this does this. It'll turn a JPEG into a black box. I think it's just if your, like, computer is running out of space or something. Um, and it, it's just the view box. But when you print it, it'll print fine. So if you do see that, it's not like, it's it's not anything, there's nothing wrong. It just, I don't really know how to change this to make it look back into the image that it was. But sometimes it'll show back up. Sometimes it'll be black for the whole time that I'm working. But it'll print fine and it'll, like, it'll be fine. I don't know if, yeah, you can see it right here. So this is the send panel where you send it to your Cameo machine or whichever silhouette machine you have. But as you can see, it's it's still there. It's just showing up as a black box. And there it's back. <laughs> so, all right, we have that. So that was the second thing I wanted to show you. The last thing I want to show you, I'm just going to get rid of these for now. And we're going to bring up. This So this is my budget stickers uh, for October. This is October's sinking funds. And I was just going to show you really quickly how um, I do these little strips. These are really simple. But I just take the rectangle tool over here. And then I just draw a rectangle. We're just going to draw it. Let's say I want it to be like 6 by 1. Uh, and this, we would get the measurements. You have to just measure like the planner say this these would go into planner for me you have to measure the area that you want this sticker so that's just gonna be different for everybody depending on what planner or whatever you're sticking it on whatever you're using so you'll need to know all the measurements before you actually draw this but we'll just since this is just for um showing you i'm just gonna say i want it to be six by one and we'll just make it a nice little even six by one inches all right so that's how i start and then what I want to do, I'm just going to, I, there is a setting in here. So if I go up here to the page setup plan, panel, there's a print bleed setting, but I don't like the program's bleed setting. So I never use this and I make my own bleed. And what I mean by that is like I extend the art past the dial line so that if there's any shifting when it's cutting, um, there won't be any like white space around the edge. So I need to make a bleed. I don't want to just fill this because it can't, it, it shifts a little bit. Like the any cutting machine um, won't exactly cut on the die line every single time. So this is our die line. This is exactly what we want cut. 
like the measurements. And so I'm going to go over here. I, I use this offset panel all the time. So I'm going to come over here, use my offset panel. I'm just going to do a 0 0.03. Again, like I said, I, I use between 0 0.03 and 0 0.05. Those are usually my um, normal things that I use. And I clicked apply. And now we have two red lines around each other. Let me zoom in a little. And what I want to do now, this outer line we don't actually want to cut, but we'll so we'll take that cut line off in a minute. But now what I can do, I can fill that with any color that I want. Or if I go over here in the patterns, I can pick a pattern, anything that I want, and it'll be filling the 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 whole area with the pattern. So you can add your own patterns in here. These are some of mine, and then I have the defaults in here. If you are going to be selling anything, I do want to mention this. This is for fonts or images or anything. Anything you're going to be selling on Etsy or any program, you need to make sure you bought the commercial license for it. You can't just take free things and sell other people's designs um, without paying for it or having a commercial license for it. So make sure if you're if make sure wherever you're getting art that you're buying the commercial use license um, so that you don't get into any legal trouble or anything and anything that says like for personal use only you can't use to sell obviously you can use it for yourself but you shouldn't be putting that on things that you're going to be selling to other people um, okay so we'll just take this pattern and what I'm gonna do now like I said a little bit ago, we don't want this to cut. This this it's we only need one cut line, which is the inner line, and that is the one inch by six inch that we had originally. This you can see we have the all the plaid, whatever this design is. This part's highlighted. This is actually six point zero six by one point zero six because it's extended past our dial line, and we don't want that to cut since it's just for the bleed. So I'm just gonna hit this. This means nothing, no stroke or anything. So we're hitting that, and then it took the red line off of it. So that's how I get my uh, box and how it prints so that there's nothing, no like um, white on the edge or anything. And I'll show you how I do, how I would do something below it. So say I'm making this into like a washi strip or something. I go over here, use this repeat panel, replicate panel, I guess it is. And if you just hit the duplicate below, it just copies it exactly below it. It butts it up right against each other. And I can do another pattern or color in here. Um, there's also an eyedropper tool, so you can kind of, like, I just picked the color from over here. But you can pull a color from other anything else. But we're just going to put, say, like a green or something. Let's do blue. Blue's prettier. So... We'll just pull that right now. So if, if you want two different colors, you could match it exactly to this too, but for just the purposes right now of doing, showing you guys, I'm just showing you this is a solid color and then this is a pattern. So you can do anything with that. You can also take, oh, here's a little trick. So if you want to, if you want to highlight just the line and it's hard to get, so I just did highlight the line, but say you're trying to do it and you're just getting the blue box if you highlight both things and then shift click the blue box, it'll take anything you shift click off of the selection. So it'll just it just has the red line highlighted now. Um, so that's what we wanted highlighted right now because we're going to change the size. Say I want to change this into like a thin washi. So I'm going up here to this little arrow, this little line with two arrows on the sides like I did before. And instead of one inch, I'm going to just put 0.25. And now it's smaller. We're going to get rid of this. But you can always just do the same thing then. You can offset. Pull it down to 0 0.03. Apply. And then just do your color, whatever you want it to be. And then always make sure to take off the cut line for anything you don't actually want cut. So I think that was the basics. That's how I make stickers. Like honestly... It's not, all the, the basic part is simple. It's just then like actually going in and doing everything. Um, it takes time, but it's not too hard. So like for this, this is the top part. We just have, it's like the sunflowers right here are the, the plaid thing up here. That's how I would have made that. And then all I do, the sinking funds right here, I just type in, I just type some text up here. Sinking funds. 
and then I highlight that and then I'm gonna like I said I just kind of use I'll just use this one right now and we're gonna make it take the cut line off like always and then I'm just gonna make it black for now so it's easy to see and then we can make it smaller because that's definitely too big to fit in that plant area we'll just do that and see if it fits and I keep clicking this arrow but we're gonna put that here and then if I want it centered I can just drag and select all three of these and up here we have the alignment and I'm just gonna center them the line center and then the sinking funds is in the center but then we have that and then I have the white outline around it but I'm gonna just use my offset panel again and you can use this also not just for cutting but to make a little make the outline on your sticker just makes it look a little bit nicer and makes it easier to read so we're just gonna do that and then we'll make it white behind it so it'll look like that alright I hope this helped anybody who's like wondering how I make stickers and just um, like I said in the beginning of the video everybody does things differently this is kind of just how I do things I don't think anybody's way is wrong or right it's just kinda there's a million different ways that you can make things and this is how I do it I know some people probably love the bleed um, up here that this that silhouette has I just like I said I don't really like it and I'm used to being able to control my bleeds because I do I do graphic design so I'm used to Adobe Illustrator and I do feel more constricted when I'm using Silhouette Studio it's not as as good as Adobe Illustrator but it does what I need it to do and I do enjoy using it to make my stickers because it's easy and it, um, it it's the program I can cut my stickers with so when I do want to cut the stickers I just go to send and then I always use this line count or the line like tab up here and then I only want my red and blue to print so I just take off the if anything else is checked and then you can click each of them and select the material and then all the settings for your um, machine for which size like I want the red I want it to kiss cut it and then the, the white or the, sorry this the blue I would want it to cut through the whole paper so I have different settings in here um, to separate that so these would have different they would say different materials I'm not gonna cut it right now so I'm not gonna change it all to the settings that I have but um, uh, I, and just so you know so the blue we don't have it right now but I would put that blue outline around it around this whole thing so that I would cut this sticker out as like one set kind of like I have over here so see this blue line and it cuts it right out um, and I don't have to cut it separately then I hope everybody enjoyed this video I know it was a little different <laughs> than I usually do but I enjoyed doing this I enjoyed getting this is just like the basics at least so hopefully it kind of helped you understand the sticker making process if you like this kind of video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and you can hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any more videos like this. If you have any requests or anything, I can try to um, film some what anybody's requests or anything. I try to take other people's what they, what they want to see into consideration. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!